Hey folks, it's Sam, back with another quick tip. Did you know that you can make any of our 2D or 3D strategies become multi-axis simply by using tool orientation? Well, let me show you how. In this example, I'm using a 3D parallel toolpath. In the geometry page at the bottom, there is a tick box which allows you to change your tool orientation. Note that this only works if your machine has multi-axis capabilities. From here, you can set your tool orientation to align your tool to selected geometry. In this case, I have pre-created some geometry in the design space. I can simply align my tool orientation to follow this curve as I wish to machine off the center of the tip of my ball end mill as this could create a bad surface finish. Then I can continue creating my toolpath as usual. The positional moves needed to get to this new orientation that I defined earlier it's all worked out by the post processor, leaving you with more time to program and machine your parts. Another tip for making this selection easier, if you do not have the ability to select an edge on your model, then you can simply just select a surface. If you have many angles on your component, you can simply select either the edge on your model or you can simply just select a surface, which will orientate your tool to be perpendicular to the selected surface. Let's take a look into an example. I have an end mill and I would like to machine the slots in the side of my part. To do this, I can simply select a surface that is at the same angle as my slots. This will change my z-axis to be perpendicular to the surface I selected. I can then create my toolpath as normal. Notice how we don't always have to predefine the tool axis to follow. We can just use the model to our advantage. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time.